Chips. Chips. Chips are one of the most important parts of any electric vehicle today, especially since Tesla's new premium cars need more chips for driver assistance and other electronic systems. However, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk shared that the global chip shortage would stop the company from rolling out any new models, including the Cybertruck and the Semi, in 2022. This proves that the Giga Texas factory, which will produce Cybertruck, is not yet capable to manufacture a lot of chips to meet the company's demand. So, what's stopping Tesla from producing enough chips at Giga Texas? Stay tuned to find out. But before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Anyways, let's begin today's content. The US, home of Elon Musk's Tesla, is still not self-sufficient enough in chip production technology and still has to depend on other countries. With more than 75% of global chip production coming from Asia, Taiwan produces more than half of the world's semiconductors and nearly all of the highly advanced ones which are used to produce mobile phones, consumer electronics, cars, military equipment, and more. South Korea, the nearest competitor, has about 17% of the overall market. Taiwanese chips are the smallest and fastest, and their foundries account for 92% of the most advanced designs. Meanwhile, the good old United States claims to only account for 12.5% of worldwide semiconductor manufacturing. U.S. President Joe Biden even has called a chip shortage a national security risk. U.S. dependence on foreign chip supply has been highlighted by the current global chip shortage, driven by pandemic disruptions and supply chain issues. On the other hand, Taiwan doesn't seem to be affected much by the chip supply chain shortage. So what is its secret weapon? that it possesses that can produce such a large number of chips. Did you know that Taiwan is the home of the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company or TSMC, the world's largest chip foundry? Well, this company owns the most advanced chip manufacturing technology in the world that few companies have, even Tesla. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company has produced 1 billion functional defect-free 7 nanometer chips in the past. TSMC affirmed that its 7 nanometer technology ramped to high volume production faster than any other technology before. TSMC has deployed extensive sensors in its equipment to ensure that every piece of useful data is collected and the company uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to turn that data into knowledge and intelligence to improve its manufacturing. And if you didn't know, knowledge is power. Furthermore, during the 7 nanometer generation chip, TSMC introduced advanced, extreme, ultraviolet lithography, a technology that the industry had been looking forward to for many years. The smaller wavelength of extreme ultraviolet light allows the company to print the nanometer scale features of advanced technology designs more easily. At the same time, TSMC unveiled that extreme ultraviolet light is much more difficult to create. It requires hitting tiny droplets of tin with pulses from a powerful source laser to turn the droplets into a plasma, which then emits the wavelength of light we desire. TSMC also cooperated with ASML, which is a company in the Netherlands and the sole supplier of extreme ultraviolet lithography, photolithography machines in the world. But besides that, TSMC is the first company to bring extreme ultraviolet into commercial production at the 7 nanometer generation. It marked the first time in history that the most advanced logic technology as an open platform was available for all the designers in the semiconductor industry. Now, TSMC's 7 nanometer technology is not just only for PCs, tablets, and smartphones, they're in data centers and in automobiles. America's leading electric vehicle manufacturer, Tesla, was impressed with TSMC's 7 nanometer chip manufacturing technology and techniques, so much so they once asked to cooperate with the Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturer as Tesla aims to produce the HW 4.0 chip for its new EVs. However, rumors of Tesla working with the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company for its HW 4.0 or FSD Computer 2 processor have now been quelled. This is due to the fact that Tesla has already cooperated with one of the world's leading technology corporations, Samsung, to produce the next generation of Tesla FSD chips. Hardware 4 or HW 4.0. Tesla is currently using the HW 3.0 supercomputer in all of its cars produced in the United States and China. 
According to Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, although HW 3.0 is fully capable of computing the full self-driving software, the automaker still wanted to make the next level computer just in time to make FSD even safer. The Texas-based automaker also wants to keep innovating and improving upon its technology and the essence of its continuous improvements cycle. After the Cybertruck, the HW 4.0 chip will slowly transition to newly produced cars of the entire lineup as it happened in the case of HW 3.0. Musk has hinted at the use of 4.0 during the AI Day presentation. Then obviously there will be a future hardware for a full self-driving computer too, um, which we'll probably introduce with the Cybertruck. It's, it's really just going to be like, can we take it from, say, for argument's sake, 300% safer than a person to 1,000% safer? You know, just like there are people on the road who, with, with varying driving abilities, um, but we still let people drive. It, you don't have to be the world's best driver to be on the road. Ultimately, another reason Giga Texas is not making chips is that their chip manufacturing partner, Samsung, will build a chip factory in the state of Texas. In November of 2021, Samsung Electronics, a world leader in advanced semiconductor technology, announced that it would build a new semiconductor manufacturing facility in Taylor, Texas. The estimated $17 billion investment in the U.S. will help boost the production of advanced logic semiconductor solutions that power next generation innovations and technologies. The new facility will manufacture products based on advanced process technologies for application in areas such as mobile, 5G, high-performance computing or HPC, and artificial intelligence. Samsung remains committed to supporting customers globally by making advanced semiconductor fabrication more accessible and meeting surging demand for leading-edge products. Kenan Kim Vice Chairman and CEO of Samsung Electronics Device Solutions Division said, As we add a new facility in Taylor, Samsung is laying the groundwork for another important chapter in our future and contributing to the stability of the global semiconductor supply chain. The groundbreaking will be supposedly in the first half of 2022, with the target of having the facility operational in the second half of 2024. The Taylor site will span more than 5 million square meters and is expected to serve as a key location for Samsung's global semiconductor manufacturing capacity, along with its latest new production line in Byeongtok, South Korea. That's it for today's episode. We'd like to take this time to thank you for your support of Tesla Car World. Our content continues to improve in quality, all thanks to viewers like you. So if you have any thoughts about the episode, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next exciting installment of Tesla Car World. Once again, thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a good one and be safe.